I want to talk about uh, Nita 400. This is a bike that I had. I bought this Kawasaki because uh, I really like the paint scheme. So this Nardo uh, gray compared with this green, but it's only a part of it. The other part is that I really liked uh, this new generation Ninja. So it's success of the Ninja 300. But the Ninja 300 was beaten after a while by Yamaha R3. Port performance but was still excellent with less modern of course and ninja 300 is an evolution of the ninja 250 before that but this one had uh, not one cylinder like the ninja 300 or ninja 300 is already a two cylinder ninja 250 was a one cylinder so it had two cylinders which i really like so you have a little bit more uh, tone difference in the in the higher rf range but also a lot of torque uh, low down. You have very good uh, disc brakes, and this new evolution looks a lot bigger, more like a Ninja 650. Also, the seating position was a lot more upright. If you want to, well, you can still tuck in, and you had the benefit that you have a, a platform with bigger brakes, bigger performance, performance to see, similar gas uh, consumption, but a Ninja that is now more suited also for riding two up, for example, with my wife, but also the benefit that you have a more mature looking bike. It looks like a, a real motorcycle instead of a junior one. And it seats also like that. It's the class leader. It was leading all the performance classes in this. They were winning everything, even beating the KTM 390 RC. It's also a very good bike. But it was a very, very nice uh, upgrade. Also, uh, for your comparison, the, it was even lighter in weight with a bigger tank than the Ninja 300 while having 100cc more. So, a lot more torque, a lot more horsepower, a lot more drivability. And also, for driving three, two up, this was excellent. But the paint scheme was very good. As you can see here, it also had some upgrades. So, one of the upgrades was that they had a smoke windscreen. This was not standard, but this one is a new bike that I bought uh, had. Also, tilt ID. So, tilt ID gives you, this was normally transparent, a little bit uh, higher up. And the tilt ID was normally uh, a lot longer, so the tilt ID makes it a lot shorter, cleaner look. I to give you also the. I don't know why this isn't uh, working. Oh, there it is. So you see another view of this uh, bike. See that it's chain driven. As you can see, this is also a bad thing because you need to still, uh, of course, lubricate this and it also makes it a little bit dirty. But it's the most efficient way of transferring power from this engine here to the back wheels. You can also see better the tail tidy what I mentioned earlier. So normally it would be more like that. And now, yeah, it's limited to that. And here, the smoke windscreen again. Close up of the brakes, so from now. Very nice weight disc uh, brakes. Here you see also the exhaust, the tenant exhaust, and we'll come back to that later. Here you see the footrest of the basket, which is very close to the exhaust, so it's not that nice. Also, a lot of heat dissipating. From the exhaust to that little room here, but that can be fixed. Here you see the back wheel. Still tidy again. 400 to the form CC displacement is uh, depicted here. Also nice, it was the where I bought it. You see the smoke screen. The black smoke, I think, looks excellent because there's black accents here and the gray and then the Green again, also really like that. You have straps so the best you can hold on to, you can put something underneath, like a gloss or something else. Okay, the chain, engine. Still surprise, 5990. And I did some upgrades. So, for example, phone holder, you can see here, quite cheap to buy. This is a Chinese club shop. Also, yeah, you see something to lubricate um, your chain, as I mentioned. So you have a reservoir of oil that you fill up 
you can give it a like 25% rotation and that will lubricate it again. So then it has this uh, loop going through this uh, tube and you position it and you fixate it with this tire lapse so it will be positioned on top of your chain. So every time you just squeeze it, you can lubricate your chain also with your while driving. So normally you do this once every tank. So every time you put new gasoline in your tank, but also you can do this more often if you have a rainy ride, so to protect the chain. So some of the clothing you see here, so a jacket, um, yeah, pants, so you can put it over your normal pants and some boots. Also, this can help uh, tremendously. This is um, something that helps you if you have a motorcycle without cruise control. So what it does is uh, here you see this thing that you clamp that on top of your uh, uh, see this. your gas uh, your gas uh, wrist. Throttle. So you open the throttle normally, manually, and with this you can fixate it. So if it then tops, you put it in the position that you want with this ring to protect uh, your normal uh, throttle handle. And then if you have the speed that you want, you just twist it over so you rotate it forward. So it will then go against your brake lever and it will stop your throttle to wind back. So for long trips, this can be handy, but also if you don't want to exceed the speed limit, then it's all boring stuff. So good upgrade. This is a vest that you can uh, put on top of you, so you have more protection for your chest and your back, especially if you're driving light. So if you don't put on a complete um, gear, complete gear is always uh, recommended, of course, but sometimes you will simply won't. So you have something that you can do and it's quite uh, quite good for uh, ventilation, of course, because it only costs a part of you. You can also put it on top of your uh, existing uh, suits to have additional protection. So this is what I mentioned, uh, the exhaust, standard exhaust was replaced with an Akrapovic. I'm not that good at pronouncing it, Akrapovic exhaust system and uh, that gives you the benefit. I don't know why it's not depicted. Sorry for that. In my view, it stands. But anyway, there are some benefits to get a, a different exhaust system. And you can have slip on exhaust, which just fits in. There it is. Uh, which you, your normal exhaust, so you don't have to change anything. You have the small heat shield here, but it's a lot more compact. And um, you have this carbon tip, which is also very nice, in my opinion. Here, there is a EPM uh, DB killer, so that's beneficial. This exhaust system will save you weight, which is a benefit. It will also produce a little bit more horsepower in newton meter and gives you better sound. But the last thing is also gives you more room because it's less bulky to begin with. So I would recommend it for the material titanium and with a carbon tip. See if I can show you a picture of how it looks. So if you uh, want to look how it looks fitted, I will show you in this picture. So remember this, the pedal of the passenger was very close to the original exhaust, but now you have a little bit more room to wiggle it. So, and also the look, the total look of the bike is uh, much more mature in my opinion. This is also with the normal um, smoke, so normal screens are not smoked. So a little bit high and not blacked out, but I had it with a uh, blacked out uh, screen, which is also a lot shorter. Here you will see it depicted again more in profile without all the cluttering uh, behind it. So it gives you a little bit of the view of the bike that I had. Here again, quite small, but you get the, you get the picture. Hope this uh, presentation uh, was helpful and interesting for you.
I really like this bike. I would also uh, always recommend it as a beginner bike. Very cool. If you reach 200 kilometers an hour, uh, especially with our crap of it. Um, it looks very mature. It looks like a complete racer setup, but you also have something that you can tour on because the, the seating position, the triangle, right? The triangle is not that bad to begin with, which is excellent. Um, wishing you a great day. Rider or motorcycle out. Ciao.